now. So just what I'd like to, to ask, you have touched on it a little bit, Elliot, is just, like I said, a lot of viewers of this channel are students. So if someone's watching and they want to they want to work in a similar role that you've got and they want to go down that kind of conditioning sports science route, what advice would you give to someone that's maybe in the second year at uni now in terms of to follow in a path similar to what you've done? Um, I think one, um, like I mentioned previously, you have to have the mindset of going into somewhere, uh, whether it be rugby, whether it be football, whether it be working in a single individual sport, tennis, cricket, um, tennis, um, an Olympic sport, whatever it may be, golf. Um, you have to have the mindset of you need to work hard, uh, and one or two times a week sometimes is the only thing you can do but what else can you do to help out um if you have a day off are you going to spend your day off or are you going to go out the night before at university your day off you're just stuck in bed doing nothing when you could potentially go into somewhere and help out for a couple of hours yeah. you don't understand how far that can take you and how far you can go now i'm not saying go to go to uni and just be a hermit and don't go out and and don't enjoy yourself you go and enjoy yourself but also think about what you what you're there for yeah. um i think i mentioned it previously again like saying first second or third year whatever it is go and get some experience yeah. uh go and put yourself out there go to your local non-league club if you if you're involved in football i'm just talking from a football point of view go there and just try and listen to podcasts I'm not saying I know everything or know anything at all really uh, but listen to podcasts like this listen to other podcasts that give more information out based on what they do on a day to day yeah watch YouTube videos watch um, look at research and go and implement that at a football club that has no knowledge of any of it uh, and that's no disrespect to them but they just they're an on league football club on a Tuesday Thursday they just want to win to try and get higher promoted or to earn a little bit of extra money mm. or managers are trying to just get better and work higher at the football league or higher at the, the non-league pyramid you can have a real impact on that uh, a lot of players are coming out of academies now and going to play non-league football so those players have had had the best of everything since they've been a certain age they come out at 18 19 and they go to a non-league football club who have nothing yeah. in terms of any facilities or anybody guiding them on any nutrition on any SSC work now they might have a if they're bright enough and willing enough they might go and do it off their own back yeah but imagine what you could do to somebody who's just come out of academy football have had a knockback mm. you could help that person better themselves physically they could play every game during an on-league and they could go and get a move and yeah. you've been a part of that and then you that's another contact for you to have yeah yeah yeah. I mean, it's a content. It's about building that net, and your network system. LinkedIn, I use massively for 